Wie ist das? Ja, komm hin. Das reicht ein Zauber. Na. Komm hin! Und you find up to your kids. Oh, Sandra. I didn't know you would. Hier da mit mit um, the policeman. Um, That's impressive. Well, actually, they are here for you. For me? I never, I never asked. Um, <laughs> I never asked to see any policeman. So. Officer, this is Mr. Tony. Oh yeah, Mr. Tony. I greet you, Mr. Tony. My pleasure. You are under arrest. <laughs> oh God, where's the camera? Hmm? Where's the camera? I'm sure this is a prank, right? You're here to prank me. Is your friend aware of this? Let me call her so she'll see how funny this is. Hello, babes. Is she aware? Is she aware of this? Yes. Babe, you don't believe what happened. Like, I'm ready to here to prank us. I'm totally aware of everything. You have some explanations to do at the police station. <coughs> you serious? Mr. Tony, like I say, you are under arrest for murder of one Mr. Mbanifo Ezebuno and one Mr. Musa Mohammed. For that, I advise you to remain silent. For whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. I'm telling you, Tony, you know, get waiting since I want to where I want to go back to her. Now, for who don't know you, calm down. I, I'm telling you. Oh, you seriously, seriously the other time? No, then I was not serious. Now I'm serious. Oh, but what about the other the other thing? Uh, uh, no, seriously. I'm, not, I'm with her senses now. If she liked me, she carried out her big bumble book for my face right now. You say you're with her senses. So, where your senses go? Hello. <laughs> Hello, ma. Good day, ma. Good day. Well done. Mm. Tony, how are you? What's up? Hey! Guy. What's up, Bono? This your mother in law said, Guy. Are you being serious? Which of these is this my mother? Fine. Yeah, I beg. She's Mind sexy, yourself. Sexy, like sexy. Damn! Can you stop it? I'm just saying, man. I mean, uh, uh, she fine. Uh, uh, it's happen. Yeah, but mind your business. You don't be okay. No, 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 no come here to play that kind of play. Uh, oh boy, are they jealous? You are not gonna lie. Ah, uh, uh. you don't be they jealous me. They talk my mother in law. They jealous you. Now wait till I talk. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I think they jealous me. Uh, I think they jealous me to my mother in law. How? What are you saying? Why do they pretend like saying you don't know it and they talk now? That's how I don't know it. Okay, there's something you want to say. You say it, which one is all this? You say, I don't know, no, say, if anything happened to your father in law now, say now you go inherit that matter. What are you even. Where did you get these things from? Which one be. If anything happened to my father in law, but then let me go. First of all, are you praying for my father in law to die? No, now, sure. And so where, where is all this coming from? Wait, oh, wait, Tony. If they try to tell me, say you don't know this thing where they talk. I don't know which thing. Like which one is if, 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 if my father-in-law die, I will inherit his wife. Well, For real? So you don't know that according to the culture and tradition of your wife's people, if anything were to happen to your father-in-law now, you are the one to inherit his wife. Okay, stop saying things that are impossible. Which one is uh, they do that in it's Africa? It's not impossible. It's it's your wife's people's. Culture and tradition, I'm telling you here. You don't know this thing. I don't I don't know. If, if, hey. it, if it exists, my wife would have told me by now. No, I'm telling you the truth. Oh. See me here, I don't the reason. Say, my guy don't carry I go market, go marry wife from this. I think say maybe you don't go see waiting day before you. So you don't know. Wait, 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 wait. So you're trying to tell me that if I lose my father in law, I will inherit his wife. 
That is not what I'm trying to tell you. That is what I am telling you. And that is not even what I am telling you. That is what the culture and tradition of your wife's people is. And they've been doing this for, for millennia now. Unless now for your turn now, they won't come change the whole thing. And I know pre may come before your head. This guy, my turn now, they won't change the whole thing because guy think will pay me. Ah, ah. See, woman, as he said. Hey! Mm. Hey! I did jealous you. Hey! Oh, so this is true, eh? Why your face be like that? Hmm? Not the reason I'm a. Which one? Which one? <laughs> Guy, you know, see this guy, see this one, see this one. That's the reason I'm here. Boy, oh. my God. Babe, we go. What's going on? I want to ask you something. Okay. Is it true that where you come from, that when a father-in-law dies, the son-in-law inherits the wife? I mean the son-in-law married to the first daughter inherits the wife. Who told you that? Okay, if that doesn't matter, can you just answer the damn question? Is it true? Uh, yes, it's true, but <laughs> babe, that, that that's 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 nothing serious. It's some crazy tradition. And besides, my dad is not gonna die anytime soon. He's alive and doing very well. This is not about your dad dying anytime soon. I mean, why would you keep such a thing away from me? Such an important information. Come on. Babe, why are you getting angry? I just told you it's not a big deal. It's some crazy negative tradition. It really doesn't make any any sense. Like it has caused more harm than good to a lot of families. So it's it, it's it's nothing. Look, babes, it's not about whether your father is healthy or whether your father is dead or not. It's about you keeping such an uh, such a vital information away from me. Okay, what if I don't accept that nonsense? Oh, fine. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that I, I didn't tell you. It's it's nothing serious. I told you it's some crazy tradition. It doesn't even make any sense. Besides, my dad is is fine. He's strong. He's alive. He's not going to die anytime soon. But I'm sorry. Okay. It's fine. Just make sure you tell me next time. All right. Don't any tradition like uh, any tradition like this don't hesitate to tell me i mean there are certain things my own people might abhor I'm you understand sorry, uh -huh. so we don't have clash clash of traditions i'm sorry it's fine it's fine i sleep now go to bed it's late oh, you go to bed uh -uh. what about you sleep now all right then <laughs> Since you are busy. Not really. Okay, I prepared Okwa. Oh. Yes, I noticed my daughter has been busy lately. So I want to buy Okwa. I know you will like it. Of course, of course. <laughs> that, that's actually my, my favorite. 
yes, my doctor told me. Yes, that's <laughs> true. Exactly. Okay, let me get it for you. All right, I can't wait to taste your <laughs> ukwa. I'll be soon there, yeah. Daddy, so how are you feeling? As you can see, I am good. <laughs> nice one. I'm happy to hear that. And mommy, um, what was the result of the test that was run on him? Time for the money. Yes, the doctor said uh, he needs bed rest. That he is stressed. Stressed? Mm -hmm. Daddy, what are you doing with your time in the village that you're stressed? You're asking us if you don't know your father again. If he does not go for a village meeting, he will go for marriage ceremony. If not marriage ceremony, he is looking for food for his goats. Hmm? Dad. <laughs> but I told you to always rest and stop stressing yourself. Huh? You have your brother's daughter to run all these errands for you now. Well, she does, but I only help her to do some of the things I think I can do. Moreover, it is also a means of uh, stretching my bones. You yeah. know. But she's being paid to do all of those. Yeah? Anyways, it's fine. I'm thank God you're here now so we can take care of you. That is good. But as soon as I'm fully recovered, I will go back to the village to take care of my goods. Hmm? There you go again. Mm -hmm. This man. Daddy, just rest. For once, just take a break. Eh? Let us take good care of you. Okay? Okay, lest I forget. Um, mommy, I'm going to be away for three days or more. I'm going for a seminar. So you are going to be in charge of this house. You have to take care of daddy, take care of my husband and the house. I didn't know I'm equal to the task. <laughs> no. I will be taking care of your husband <laughs> and my husband here. Take care of you. Take care of your husband, husband. Yeah. and the house. <laughs> daddy, yeah. I'll just leave you guys. I'm tired. I need to go. Please get well soon. Okay. It's better. Alright, you'll be fine. I love you, Daddy. Love you too. Mommy, hmm? I talk to you. You didn't say that. I love you too. I love you. Say hello. Yeah, Tata. Take a worry. She's a big girl. Welcome. Welcome to the city. Tell me that you're already booking her. Huh? No, you know. Okay. Well. How far is the deal? I'm glad that you're asking. Because these days it's like the only thing on your mind is Patricia's bumbo. <laughs> Are you going to tell me about the deal or not? The deal is fine. I'm working on it. Femi and his boys. Why are you all of a sudden interested? Yeah, did he send you the email or not? You are trying to distract from the topic, right? Oh. Patricia's boo. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Every time I want to open the gate for the car to come inside, you It's very, very, very hard. I'm going to soon say when I'm in the way so that you to be free. That's all. Take this to you. Misha, give this to my father-in-law. Hmm? It's detox tea to help detox his system, mm -hmm. to cleanse his system. Hey, Uga. Look, make sure he drinks it too, like right now. Mama Uga, I know that I don't know how to speak English. Mama, you cannot confuse me. Uga, this cannot be what you. This is a uh, black tea, Uga. One number 
Tokisi, you know all of you that go to school abroad. Oga, amazing Zimbabwe. It is detox tea. And you should move right now. Hey, Oga, I'm on black tea for. Amazing Zimbabwe. Can you give him this thing? Oga, let me finish this. I. My friend, go. Make sure he takes it now. Okay, Oga. Oga, please help me look after that. I'll do it. That you're refusing to open the gate. What's the problem? Mazam, you want to leave this place? Mazam, forgive me for. When no work as a visa, he put he wants to put me for trouble. When no, the visa lonely as a so lonely, lonely. Look, look at this guy. So that is how trumpets will sound. You will not hear. Funny. You think it's funny? Lonely as so. Can say I I I'm very. Really <laughs> so you think it's funny? I will throw you out of this house. Continue. Welcome, at least. No, 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 so we so you go put to me for trouble, ba. We need to work on lonely as uh, so lonely, lonely, lonely. I'm a, I'm, I'm very lonely here, ba. <laughs> to welcome you back. Thank you. So welcome. Thank you. Let me leave you guys. Eh? Bye bye. Ah, uh, mommy, so much. What is it? <laughs> What is going on? Are you guys? Really? You guys are just making me feel. What's going on? You're so happy. Uh uh. Hey babe, what's up? Good to see you. I miss you so much, and I know you miss me too. I miss you so much. I'm glad my baby is back. So, what's the good news with the seminar? Guess. Oh come on, babe, not today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, mm -hmm. the good news is that um, we'll be having promotional exams on the seminar. Yes. yes. And if I pass, mm -hmm. then I will be promoted. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you said if I pass, and for me it's when you pass, because I know you will pass. Mm. Come on, you're smart. I hear you. I know you will always excel. Mm. So you know what? Well, Just go get ready for your promotion. <laughs> hey, prophet, don't talk. <laughs> Amen. Mm, and you know what that means, right? Yes, I do. That you will no longer, you know, talk about working so hard to mm. get promoted. I hear you. No wonder you really want me to do this job. You want me to get promoted. I'll have more of you now. <laughs> <laughs> Let mm. me see you. Woo! So, babe, what do you guys have for me? Wow. What do you have for me? What do you and mommy have for me? Mm -hmm. You'll find out when you get to the bedroom. <laughs>
Ogasuni. So no Um, did you not give my in law the tea again? Hey, Ogatuni, no, no, Bashi. I give him. Ama, when I go to give him, uh. he actually went away. The JC is is very sunny, like it's very hot. He wants it to be very very cool. He say I I should keep it on top of the table. I keep him on top of the table and I go. Mm. So you don't know if he drank it or not. Okay, Ogasuni, I don't know, pa. I I keep it on top of the table and I go. What happened? Any problem? What kind of question is that? My friend, get inside. Hey. You. What is it? Hey, please, please, please. We need to stop. Please. Stop. We can't keep doing this, please. We can't keep doing what I didn't do anything. I just... just leave me. Look, she's not around, okay? What is it? I just talked to you. Oh, and Tony, stop. See, How just... can I stop? Just look at yourself. Hmm? Can, can we just stop this? We can't stop this. How is that even possible? It's not right. Are we taking a look at yourself in the mirror? Hmm? Anyways, did you um by any chance see my teacup? Um, yes, yes. Um I'm sorry, I mistakenly broke it. It's okay. No, I can't replace it. What a teacup? Come on, it's just a teacup now. Hmm? Okay, thank so you. the um the um, detox tea that Dad was supposed to take. Did he take it? Uh, no, he forgot. And by the time I came back, it was already cold, so he couldn't take it. Mm. Mm. He shouldn't be forgetting to take his detox tea. You should make sure he takes it, you know? I'm sorry about that. Maybe you should give me another one to make sure he takes it. You should take it this time. No, I'll, I'll make sure he takes it. But um, since he's a detoxy, mm. can I also take from him so that you can give me? No, 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 no. That that, that one is for is for men. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Yeah, so the, those those the the um those governments people you know how they behave. Hey, is everything okay? Um, I forgot some documents. Oh, okay. okay. What's going on with you guys? You guys are cool? No, I'm <laughs> still cleaning. You sure? Yeah. Yes. You are sure? Welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the. Those politicians, they, there's a way they behave, you know. They just move around town and behave like, Stop! Stop this! Stop that. <sighs> Hi! Hi! What kind of thing is this? See, that's my heart skin. Okay. But. As you can see, I am fully recovered. And I think it's time we we'll go back to the village, if possible, tomorrow. It's time we go back to the village. What do you say, we? Who and who are you talking about? You and I, of course. We have to go back to the village. It's not possible. I'm not going anywhere with you. But let me even ask you. Why are you always in a hurry to go back to the village whenever you're in the city? Why? In your mana so 
Well, I am wondering why you are stuck to this place. And I want you to understand that Tony is your son-in-law, not your son. Excuse you? Yes. You obviously have uh, overstayed your welcome. Yes. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I don't want to sound somehow, but I think you are getting too close to him and I am not comfortable with it. The earlier we leave this place, the better for all of us before it turns into something uh -uh. else. Let me understand you very well because I'm getting angry right now. Which one is that I'm getting close to him? Eh? What sort of talk is that one? Where is it coming from? I'm getting good. I don't, I don't understand it. Well? I am not going back to the village with you. If you are being insecure, that is your business. But it's for me to go back to the village. It's not possible you are going alone. Well? Tomorrow we'll go back to the village. I have said it, and that is final. I am not going back to the village with you. You will have to bundle me to the village because I'm not going anywhere. Are you okay? People, what is it? Talk to me. What happened? I don't want to go back to the village. <laughs> but I'm not asking you to leave. Who's asking you to go back to the village? My husband. He wants me to go back to the village with him. Why? I don't, I don't want to go. Why? What's the matter? Anything? Is there a problem? I don't know. No. I think he's suspecting us. See, we need to stop. Hmm? I don't know what to say, but I think we need to stop we before just... before my husband tells my daughter about it. You know what it means if my daughter finds out. Listen, don't never ask me to stop. Stopping is not even an option. If you're suspecting, then we can actually be seen elsewhere. Yes, I could make arrangements for that. But don't ever tell me to stop again. And as for that old man, if he wants to go to the village, let him go. But he's not dragging you along with him. You are not going anywhere. Hmm? You need to be careful. My daughter is all I have. I know. Be careful. Come on. Hmm? Hmm? Stop. Stop. What? Are you scared? Hmm? Stop. Oh, stop. I'll make arrangements for where we meet. Hmm? Then I'll give you the address. I'll talk to you later. Calm down. You need to stop wearing the wrong face. Come on. Mm -hmm. Life is good. I told you to come out from the village with the shoes. Now you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> I never knew it was like this. Mm. Seriously. <laughs> drink, Joe. <laughs> hey. Take your drink. <laughs> I think from now I'll be coming. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Our daughter is so lucky to have that man as her husband. 
Tony is a very wonderful man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> Mm. I've never taken this type of drink before. This is fine. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Oh. Go ahead and yes. take your drink. Take your drink. <laughs> the drink is strong. Mm -hmm. Take a little more for me. It's not strong. It's not what I'm taking. Mm. Take it. When you take it, you sleep well. Your body will do you well. The drink is doing me so happy. Drink you so happy. I drink small drink. Drink small drink. 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 <laughs> this drink is something else. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just taken more. Huh? My stomach. What is it? My stomach. Oh. My heart. Hey! Wait, wait. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey! 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 Calm down. Hey! Calm down. Stop. Stop this. Hey! 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 I have to. Hey! Papa? What happened? Papa? He, he took this drink and I, that, 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 that's all. How? <laughs> I'm so sorry for the loss. It's very sad indeed. I know it's really hard right now. But what has happened has happened. There's nothing anyone can do to undo it. And we cannot question God. Jack, something is definitely wrong somewhere. I mean, the doctor said he was out of danger. And two days ago, when I had my break, I went to visit him and he was responding to treatment. So why the sudden death? Where, where, where did it come from? Maybe he wasn't responding to treatment like you thought. Whatever the case, like I said, what has happened has happened. And we can't question God. We can't. We cannot. You just have to be strong right now. You have to be strong for your mother so you can comfort her. He was only 77 years. I was hoping he was going to stay alive at least up till 90 or even more. <laughs> Why would he die? Why did he have to just die like that? Babe, look, you have cried enough. Alright, it's, it's okay. It's not even easy to get to that age now. You tried, you asked me. Aneta. Aneta, please stop. I know wherever my husband is right now. He is resting in the bosom of God. Please, stop crying. You're breaking my heart. Be gone. It's okay. Hmm? We'll get through this. We've had a tragedy that we fell off. We 
cannot question God. All we will do for him. All we could do for him is to give him a proper burial. There's no need leaving his body in the mortuary for a long time. We just have to bury him so that he can rest in peace. With all due respect, sir. Uncle, I'm sorry to say. Yeah, but nobody will bury my father until I am done investigating what killed my father. Nobody is going to take his body to anywhere. Oh. Babe, you never, you never mentioned this to me. Look, I don't understand that you want to investigate. I don't have a problem with that. But don't you think it will consume so much time? I mean, you heard your uncle. He said clearly that your father needs to be buried so that his soul can rest. You should also consider that. Prince, I am sorry. But you also, and you also heard your mom. She said before he died that he screamed, my, my heart. So it's also possible that what killed him is just a heart attack. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you all of this, but it was, it was, it was because I, I, I didn't believe my father was dead. But I feel there is a problem. There is something wrong somewhere. <clears throat> my daughter, your father has come of age and anything can happen at any time. The best we can do for him is to give him a proper burial. Anita, your uncle is right. All we need to do now is to give your father a proper burial. There is no need going on investigating and doing all that. Your father has come of age. Besides, he died as a result of heart attack. Nobody will want to kill an old man like my husband. What for now? We will take his body and deposit it in the village mortuary. Then fix a date for his burial. Well, um, my in-laws, we've, we've heard what you said. Um, we'll make all the necessary arrangements for you to do that, and then we'll get back to you. Good. Really? Good. I don't understand what's going on here. Really? Are you trying to say that you're going to allow them to take my father's body away just like that? That is what we owe him. Don't you want his soul to rest in peace? I don't get. We have to start going mm. so that we we'll get to the village on time. Yes, but one more thing. Okay. When we come to take his corpse, our wife will follow us to the village and mourn her husband there. Papa. Not here. It's fine, my husband. When you come to take his body, I shall join you to the village. That's very good. Anyways, um, let me give you something for your transport. This is for your transport, sir. Oh, mm. thank you very much. I you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have to be on our way. Okay. So how's it going? Okay, good. Just let me know if anything is okay. All right, thank you. You said this bit. Who are you on the phone with? It's Deji. Who is Deji? The guy I hired to track Musa for me. Come on, I thought we agreed we were going to give this thing a rest until after the burial. Babe, my investigation is not going to stop the burial. I need to do this. Please just let me do this, at least to clear my curiosity. Fine, fine. If you say so. 
that I will have you know that I'm not spending a dime all in the name of investigation. Do you understand? So don't come and meet me for a dime. Really? Are you serious right now? Oh, the, okay, now I get it. This is what this thing is, this whole thing is about. You don't want to spend money, Abby. You don't want to spend your money. Good. I will not involve you. I will use my money. No, Wahala. Selfish human being. I've been the one fucking up and I'm trying to, 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 to start this whole thing and you're not even getting involved. So has the burial date been fixed? Mm -mm. What's the fix that my mother in law will tell me? Your mother in law? Mm -hmm. As in your wife to be? You are mad. Which one is mad? Look, guy, I just lost somebody. You should be sympathizing with me. What's all this was you're saying? Sympathizing with you for what? What am I sympathizing with you for? The man was an old man. What do you mean sympathizing with you? It should be a celebration. It's a celebration of life. He's sympathizing with you for what? One day, sure. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sympathizers Association. <laughs> Anyways, when the fees is later, I'll let you know. Better. Say I should be sympathizing. Hey now, I'm bereaved. I lost someone. I shouldn't be smiling. But you gained someone. 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 I gained who? Oh, I gained someone. Sha. Guys, you should be sad though. You did it. You were bad in France. Condolences. <laughs> Dad? Dad, good morning. Daddy? Dad, I'm talking to you. Why are you just walking away like that? I'm greeting you. Good morning. Dad? Dad? Dad. Hmm? Dad. Hmm. Dad. Dad. What is it? I saw him. You saw who? I saw my dad. I I I, I saw him. He, he, he was working. I was trying to call him, but he didn't answer. He disappeared. I saw him. I saw him. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's okay. Just come here. It's okay. So do you get any longer? It's been three months your husband died. And I've not heard anything from the elders. What's, what's going on? It's not as simple as you think. They said I'm going to mourn my husband for the whole wine time. <laughs> Before they will gather again and then tell us the next step to take. One, one year is a very long time. Mama's supposed to wait for one year. It's been already. Come on, now in my village, when a woman loses her husband, after three months, she can decide whether she wants to remain in the family or remarry somewhere else. It's not the same here. <sighs> my tradition is the most difficult and serious one I have ever seen. <sighs> Bro, just calm down. 
before you know it, the one year is, is facing us and I'll become yours. One year is a long time. I don't know if I can be that patient. One year is a very long time. Ah, it doesn't mean ah, that. Come on now. I, mean, I was thinking that once the man dies, they just hand you over to me. It's difficult. How is it difficult? Just give me the thing. Let me go with my thing. It's not like that. <laughs> um, I just wanted to calm down, okay? Hmm? I'm trying. It's already the fourth month. Before I know it, it's already one year, and I'll become yours. Meanwhile, how is Anita? Is she aware you're coming? No one is there. She's just busy wasting money on investigation, looking for Musa. <laughs> what is wrong with Anita? Why is she so stubborn? Huh? If she finds Musa now, what is she going to gain? Okay. So if you find anything, what are you doing now? You people should... What is going on? I need evidence, please. Okay. Alright, no problem. Just, 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 just do something. Thank you. <sighs> Babe, so you're really bent on it. Finding Musa. Babe, what else would explain Musa's disappearance? Why is he running away? I need to find justice for my father. I need to get justice for my father because my father does not deserve to die like that. I can't do that. Fine. So when you find him, what will happen? What will you do? Hmm? Why are, you, why are you just being stubborn about this? You want to keep wasting money on a white goose chase, really? Huh? Why are you asking me so much about Musa? I've told you before, if I ever see him, I'll hand him over to the police. They will do their investigations, and if they find him innocent, they'll free him, and I'll pay for damages. But just allow me to do my thing, please. Maybe you're just too stop. You are just unnecessarily stubborn. Like, look, let me advise you. Let this thing go. All right? Let it go. The man is dead and gone. I don't know why you want to keep going up and down with this. Keep going back and forth with this. The man is dead and gone. They said that he died of a heart attack. Which is normal for men his age. Men of his age die of heart attack all the time. So why do you want to make this a big deal? Mm -hmm. Huh? My father did not die of a heart attack. Oh, Jesus. My father was in the hospital responding to treatment. And all of a sudden, boom, he dies. The doctor said they found poisonous substance in his body. And I don't know. Now, Musa is nowhere to be found. I will look for my father. And I don't know why you keep pestering. You're just worried about nothing. Because you said you don't want to support me. You're not going to support me. I don't need your money. You're not giving me money. So allow me to use my money and do what I need to do. Stop discouraging me. Why are you being negative? All of a sudden, boom, he died. And they just said it was poison. No autopsy was conducted. Nothing. These doctors just want you to keep spending money. Why can't you see it? Huh? Babe, why can't you see it? Can you just stop getting me pissed right now? You don't want to support me? Allow me. Vanish. Leave me. Let me do my thing. I beg you. It's my father we're talking about here. You've just been negative. You're not supportive and I don't like it. I'm not supportive. I'm trying to help you. Me, I'm just trying to help. I'm helping you. And that's why I don't want you to keep going through this stress. But you will not listen. As usual, Anita, the stubborn girl. Don't just piss me off. Just go. Go and sleep. You don't want to help somebody. You're just being negative. You're not contributing any money. Instead of you to support me. This is my father we're talking about here. Well, this is my own way of supporting you. Supporting Leave this now. matter alone. You will be chasing this matter until you grow grey hair. Leave this matter alone. I beg, just, 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 just go and sleep. Stop seeking the attention of a dead man. He is dead. He He's my father. You. He's my father. Leave this matter alone. Man is dead and gone. What kind of what? Oh. What is it? Hey, what this woman, what is my father about? we're talking about here. Please don't Tony. Crying crying that I don't understand. So that's like, how that's what kind of man is this? You mean your wife's kinsmen haven't contacted you yet about their demands now that your father-in-law is buried? 
I'm serious, man. They haven't. That's strange. I even had to go see my mother-in-law a couple of months back. And she said that she has to mourn the guy for one year before any action can be taken. One year sounds reasonable. I mean, that's a good enough time to mourn someone. I mean, you should be able to wait. I mean, it's almost six months already. In a short time, now everything will be settled. Bro, I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of patience, I beg. This is something I thought that they would just do immediately. I mean, the man is dead and gone, so what are they really waiting for? But they choose to mourn him for one year. I don't have that kind of time, Mo. Tony, I don't understand why you're so agitated. This is the same woman that you said you were not interested in. Why the sudden change in attitude? Well, I don't know. I can't really explain why I suddenly feel something for her. Maybe it's because of the tradition. It's okay, bro. You really don't need to explain anything to anyone or yourself because the truth about it is there is no man in his right senses that wouldn't want a woman like your mother in law. So it's fine. Um, what about Anita? I haven't been seeing her. She seems to be so busy lately. What's she doing? That was just busy spending her money looking for Musa. She believes that Musa killed her dad. Anita is still searching for Musa. Ah, bro. Anita is stubborn. Very stubborn. Once she sets out her mind to do something, that's it. You can't convince her otherwise. Uh, man, why is Anita doing that? Anita should know better than that. Exactly. You. I mean, these security people and the likes of them, they move from job to job. As soon as they get a good offer, they've moved on. They don't even look back. Musa is probably somewhere right now earning a better pay than what you offer the man. He has moved on with his life. Anita is just here looking, I don't know, like the man died of a heart attack. Isn't that what happened? My brother. In the hospital. Uh -huh. So why is she bothering herself? Why can't she just accept that? Just like Swahala. I hope she finds the closure she's looking for. I hope so too. My son, it is our tradition that when a man dies and has a daughter that is married, the husband of the first daughter will inherit his mother-in-law after performing a ritual right. Not as second wife, though. The woman will still be in the husband's house. But you have to be responsible to take care of her financially, physically, morally, and particularly sexually. So that she will not be moving about, pia, 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 to control herself. You understand? Very, very important. Huh? Abomination. As you can see, she is still very young. And you are a very lucky man. She can visit you anytime and go back to her husband's house. Is it not true? 100%. You are on point in here. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't quite follow. What, what are you trying to say? My in-law is very, very simple. Patricia here mm -hmm. will be bestowed to you because our daughter is the first daughter of my late beloved brother. Mm -hmm. Which means Patricia will be yours after the ritual. As wife. But before the ritual, you must make sure that your father-in-law does not have another child elsewhere before your wife. We have to do investigation. Okay, well, this, this, this one, this really surprised me. I didn't see this one coming. Baby, so you didn't tell me. 
Well, so this is the tradition here? Yes. yes. Wow. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a very noble son of the soil, <laughs> and I, I take the tradition seriously. Yeah, so I, can, I cannot go against the gods. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I have to. <laughs> it's not like I have much of a choice. Mm. I have to, you know, follow tradition the way it is. Okay. Mm. Mm. Nice. Okay. Not a, not a problem. Not a problem. You remember the conditions? Yeah, I remember. You were, um, you were saying something about. Um, Conditions mm. that I have to take care of her based on what, what, what physical, physical, moral, that is financial. Not financial is not a problem. The other one, sexually, sexually, it's not like I have a choice. So. Okay, Mm. 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 Please sit up, I want to talk to you. Babe. You said what? Can you get up? I want to talk to you. Babe, come on, I'll see you later. Oh. This time I did not sleep. Can you just get up? I want to talk to you. Are you okay? You're not sleeping. You know, it's the way you, you pretend like everything is okay. That is just what it is for me. Yeah, come on, what's, what's Are you mean? seriously asking me that question? Even Moody says we go back from the village. What's the problem? Yeah. You know, it's the way you act. You, 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 you pretend about the whole thing. That is just, that's just what it is for me. Babe, what is it? Come on, you guys. You went to the village. You, 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 you accepted a clause that you don't know nothing about. You were just, you were just saying yes. They pushed it to you. You accepted it. Like, like, you, like you were cool with it. You didn't even bother. You didn't even check. You didn't check anything. You didn't blink an eyelid. You were okay with the clause just like that. Babe, come on. What was I supposed to do now? It's tradition, all right? And I'm supposed to just follow tradition. You were supposed to follow tradition. So that nobody would have killed you. If you had said no to that, nobody will kill you. What are you saying nobody would have killed me? He heard the elder. He said he would either die or run mad. When did he say that? He said it while we were there. I heard him. Really? Yes. And you know the annoying thing is that you went there and you were acting like we didn't discuss all of this. Like I, I, I didn't tell you anything about the situation. They gave my mom to you or they made you an offer and then you accepted just like that. You know, made me think that you actually had eyes for my mom all this What are you saying? Of course not. I'm just following traditions. What stupid tradition? They were from your village. If it's stupid, I don't know, but it's from your village and I, I, I just have to follow well, it. Well, you were supposed to be a man. You were supposed to say no to it and not just accept it like that. Should, what about me? I should be a man for the gods. Did you think about me? Do you think about how I will feel? So what am I supposed to do about it? You know, no, 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 now I know. Now I know where I stand with you. Of course, you stand very close to my heart. That's and I love a lie. Don't, 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 no. I'm not joking. Don't touch me. I'm serious. I'm not joking, too. I'm... You know what? It's okay. It's fine. Because it's obvious I am making noise. I am talking rubbish here. But you just, throw, you just, you just, you just showed me what I am to you. It's okay, no wahala. You, you can see? go to bed. You can go and sleep. What do you mean you're making noise? Yeah, you might be making noise, but it doesn't mean you don't have the right to, to say how you feel. People sleep. Don't, 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 don't touch me. Don't touch me. Tony, don't touch me. To think that you even accepted. Everything that he was accused of without missing words. That is really crazy. And now my own mother is supposed to be my husband's mistress. And this has been my fear for the longest time. How do I cope? No, just tell me, how do I cope with all of this? Calm down. Just relax. Like, okay, let's look at it from another angle. Even if Tony wanted to object, you can't change tradition. Mm -hmm. No. You don't have to blame him much. You have to be easy on him. Mm -hmm. And you need to also know that men reasons far. 
he might have seen that fighting the tradition is like wasting time and energy. Maybe. At least he should have objected first. Just look at the way he accepted it. He, he, he accepted the whole thing. He should have just... I'm broken. I don't even know what to do. Babe. I'm tired. Babe, it's okay. I understand you perfectly. You just have to be easy on yourself and don't blame him too much. Please, just stop. Stop. I care about you and I don't want to lose you. You're important to me. Please, babe, get hold of yourself. Stop. Lest I forget, I had someone to track that imbecile boy called Musa. Yes. You did? Yes, I did. And trust me. This guy I contracted is very good at what he does. I'm sure he will deliver. Are you joking? No, you did that. Oh, babe. Thank you so much. Can you stop? Thank you. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Thank you so much. <gasps> like you've done a lot for me. This is just my own little way of Showing gratitude for millions of things you've done for me. Mm. I should be the one thanking you. No, you're going to make <laughs> Just me cry. Stop. <laughs> oh my God. Stop. See? Mm. What can I ever do without you? Nothing. I really appreciate this one. Thank you so much, babe. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> so? I think I'm laughing for the first time today. <laughs> well, thanks to me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so yeah, so much. Yes, we just go and get dressed. Sure, yeah. now I'm going to do that. <laughs> Let's go. Babe, you did that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I'm waiting. Yeah. There's some good news. Oh my god, I can't believe it. There's some good news. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, what happened? I'm so excited that finally God has made this whole wa'ala come to an end. What are you talking about? Why are you so excited? <laughs> Babe, guess what? You know that my father's brother I told you about? Uncle Rufus? Of course, of course, yeah. Hey, hey, he just called me now to tell me that they found my father's first child. My father's first daughter. They found her, finally! How, 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 how is that possible? No, no, that, that, that's not possible. Babe. What? You understand. Babe. Hmm? You know Uncle Rufus now, my father's brother. Hey, okay. who does know? So they've been doing their findings and all that, you know, about my father. You know the tradition I told you about? Uh, yes, the one where I'm father. supposed to inherit your mother. Yes. Uh -huh. So apparently he's been doing his findings and then he went to this, my father's so-called best friend that mm -hmm. happens to know all the secrets about my father. And then the man told him everything, you know. He stated that my father has a child, a first child somewhere, a first daughter somewhere that we don't even know. But why he kept away from my mom and I is something I do not know. But whatever it is. Exactly my surprised. point. Exactly my point. Why would he keep it away from your mother and yourself? All right, look, I'm sure that your father's friend is just lying or he has an ulterior motive. I don't believe everything you hear. Excuse you. I don't understand. What is that supposed to mean? But I just gave you a very exciting news. You should be excited for me. You should be happy about it. Why happy are you about like that? Of course I'm happy. Can't you see I'm excited? <laughs> very excited actually. But I'm, I'm just saying that I wouldn't want them to be accusing a dead man wrongly. That's all I'm saying. Babes, I know, I know. But this calls for celebration. We oh, should be celebrating. Yes, we should. <laughs> <laughs> I should call everybody. I should tell everybody. Yes, this call everybody. <laughs> call everybody. <laughs> Uh, tell them, tell them all. Yes, yeah, we, they should know, right? Of course. <laughs> the job has knocked now. The 
those men will not just stay in one place. Just be spreading children everywhere. Who is his daughter? It's unbelievable. So all of a sudden, your daughter has decided to spring up from nowhere. And then her husband will have to and reap where he did not sow. It's not fair. My angel, it is his right. It is his right. There's nothing we shall have. There is something, this is our tradition. There is something right? that can be done about it. Like what? That is the thing. Look, we can settle this matter here and now. Yes, and anything that happens here will remain here. You understand what I'm saying? We can settle this matter now. Just name your price. I mean, this woman, I can't let this woman suffer in the hands of someone else. Her husband will not be happy. Yes, so just name your price. And the so called um, daughter that, that, that decided to spring up from nowhere, and her husband, if they want, we can pay them off. I'm, I'm capable. I'm capable. I can see a long work I can clever. He said that don't you say, Apala said this year. Don't mind what you're asking me to do. No, I can't. Patricia, you're supposed to explain to him better. You know that two things will happen to me. One is either a wrong man or a drop dead. My husband. Yeah. Yeah. Even this, 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 this thing you're talking about is something that was made by man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was made by man. It can also also be changed by by by, by man. Yeah. Let's just think of what to do about this whole thing. What will happen to you if it's changed now? We we'll know how to do it. Everybody will be fine. I don't want my husband to be angry wherever he is that I'm not being taken well taken care of. Yeah. That's what you are trying to say. Please understand. He's, he's obviously not listening to us. Patricia, I'm surprised you are the one saying this. You know what that's what you say. I cannot do anything contrary to that. Because, because the person is with too much for me, I cannot do anything about it. My Lord is not listening. This man is not listening. Look, I've tried to reason with you. I have offered you, you know, something. You have refused to accept it. Don't think I'm stupid, though. I'm not a child. All right. First of all, you said uh, that that she wait for one year for her to take off her morning garment. Now it is time for her to take off her her morning garment, so that I can take good care of this woman. And then you people now came up with another cock and bull story about some daughter that sprang up somewhere, and I'm supposed to take it out. I'm not going to let this happen. Not in this lifetime. Nobody's stupid now. Is it because I keep it quiet? Well, my son, this is a tradition and there's nothing I can do about it. Period. Mm. I think it's, I think if you have full a state of work, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's that way to go. Are you trying to ask me to leave by force? Mm -hmm. No, it's not, it's not as if my son in law is asking you to leave. He's trying to explain to you that sometimes when somebody comes to somebody's house mm -hmm. and he overstays his welcome, he can just go home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, we need you again. Call you. Thank you. Call mm -hmm. you again. Alone. That's why they are poor. They don't have sense. This man, at his age, I'm sure so many opportunities to make money came and he even, was dulling. How do I even go to that spot? I don't know him. I don't know him. Well, maybe he's, a, he's a, a farmer in the village or a farmer. His, arm, his armpit might be hey! I mean, since you got back from the village, you've been moody. And I asked you if Mama is okay, is everybody, if everybody's fine. You said everybody's fine. You said yes. What's going on with you? Or did our village boys attack you in any way? In Jesus' name, Anita, is it possible that I can 
stay on my own in my house? Like, can't I decide to just be on my own? Is that so hard for you to grasp? Huh? Every time you want to talk about your village, what good has ever come out from that village? No, answer me now. What good has ever come out from a village like that? Hmm? You, you, you're shouting. Calm down. I'm just trying to ask you questions. I, I'm your wife. I care. I mean, since you got back, you've been like this. I'm just, I'm just asking. Did you lose the contract? Or did anybody die? You're mad. As it is right now, I am convinced that you need brain surgery. Nonsense. Now look, eh? Let this be the last time you ever talk to me about that village again. Do you understand? All of you have gone nuts! You are gone berserk! You're talking about the dead village. Hey! Nonsense. See, that my village. My own village, oh. Just a small question that I asked this man, oh. What is going on? Now, there's nothing anybody wants to tell me. There is a conspiracy going on somewhere. I smell something fishy, something really fishy. And the truth is that my wife is involved. In fact, she's the leader of this conspiracy. And what are they even telling me? First of all, they said I should wait for her to take off her morning clothes, that uh, when she does that, then I can go ahead. I calm down, no. I did not argue. And then they now came up again and said that, uh, that they are investigating. Uh, that they want to do investigation, that after the investigation, and now they're coming up with one cock and boo story about one daughter springing up from somewhere. Like, where is that order oh, coming from? Tony, please calm. Calm down. So calm down. Calm down. You're getting too worked up about this whole thing. But it doesn't make sense. No, now. you're seriously getting worked up, and I wasn't expecting you to be this upset with this whole thing. Because after all, you were never even interested in this woman from the beginning. So what's all this? Well, the the, the tradition made me interested. Yeah. And she's a fine woman, and I'm a man. Of course, a man that likes the good things of life. So I only oh. reacted the way every other man will react. Oh, really? Yes. Now, and then you, on, you on, on the other hand, you also told me that uh, you were the one that said my mother-in-law was hot and sexy. Uh -huh. The way you saw it, that was how I also saw it too. I, so how would I be interested? So many factors, you know, were, were, were responsible for my interest. No, man, I was just pointing out the obvious. I, I didn't know that you, you would... So you, you started liking her and you hid it so well all this time. Well, I think you're looking at this whole thing from the very wrong perspective. Because I want to tell you that this is a good thing. Yes, it's a good thing that this is happening. The truth of the matter is that there is no way in hell that your wife would ever be happy in this marriage again. Knowing that her mother, her own mother, is your mistress. It's a tradition of my tradition. It's not her tradition. She was aware of the tradition before she got married to me. So she should have prepared her mind for it. Which one is the, uh, that was her business. She should have prepared her mind for it. I don't like the way things are going, though. I don't like the Bro, way you have to, You just have to let this one go. This is going. You have to let it go. I should let it go. Yes. After making me catch feelings for this woman. I said catching feelings for this man. I became so interested in this the woman. The same way you caught the feelings, the same way you can drop the feelings. Please, you have to let it go. I've reached my turn now. They're they are now they are changing things. This is, this is a tradition that has been there since. So men have enjoyed this thing. It now got to my turn. They are now telling me one sister is in one place. <laughs> one, 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 look, look. Tony. Anita has a hand in this thing. Tony, no, no. no Tony, please, seriously, you have to let this go. Guy, if na fine girl you they find at any level, any class, any age, you can get her if you feel like playing outside. Yeah. Play outside and come back it's home. If this is going to destroy your marriage, you see that lady? I man. know. It is my turn. Every local. She does that this it. It's my turn. Hmm. Is it Miri? Is in Daisy. Bianu. Bianu. Bianu.
Patricia, please step forward. Mommy, do as the great one has said. You know, we have a long way ahead of us. We have to leave here. Take off your footwear. And step. And who is the husband of the eldest daughter? I am. Young man, please step forward. Take this. Take it. Patricia, place your hand against this. Patricia, I am surprised you are the one saying this. You know the consequences of what you just said. That means, one, you will remain single throughout the rest days of your life. Two, you will never step your leg here again. Even at death, you will be buried in your father's compound and not here, your husband's compound. Yes. I better remain single that doing what my spirit does not accept. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Mommy, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this one you're saying now? I'm surprised you're trying to object to this. But you did not say a word. When, when, when they were talking about how they were going to hand you over to my, to my husband, you didn't say a word. Mommy, what's the meaning of this? No, no, so you want to take my husband from me? You actually want to share my husband with me? Hi! I am ashamed to call you my mother. I am disappointed in you. I don't know. I don't believe this. Really? Mommy, what did I do to you? What tradition is that? What tradition? Woman, it's okay. My mom! Don't disrespect the tradition. It's okay. Well, woman, um, well, if you are sure of what you say, then let's start with the ritual of making you single. Young man, Thank let you. me have that. You may return back to your seat. Thank you, man. The great one, I think you choose to give us some time so that she I don't want her to take this important decision in a haste. Please. Can I have my bag? Let me have my bag. Come on now, what's the babe? Come on, stop this. Really? Hey, come on. 
exactly the for you We apologize for that. What is ready in sense for you? Well, my work here is done for now. I must take my leave. Tony, we need to go inside. You have some explanations to give to me regarding everything that has been going on in this house. Whilst my mom was around. Um, Anita, I think you should calm down. Yes, you need to calm down so you won't say something you will regret later. What are you saying? I'm asking you, what are you saying? Were you not there? Do you not see everything that happened? My mom must, must, be, must be shameless to get involved in this kind of thing. Anita, stop! You can't insult a woman that bested you and not told you till this age. Anita, I understand that you're very upset right now, but it's no reason for you to talk carelessly. Okay? Look, your husband is not to blame for anything that happened. He couldn't object to it because he was trying to keep the peace. Right? How could he object to a culture and tradition that has been in existence long before he was born? What could he have done? He was just trying to keep the peace. And my mother. She also couldn't, couldn't say no to everything that happened. Ah, it's obvious that woman just wants to break my marriage. It's obvious. You know what, Anifa? I think it should be your mom. Having some explanation to give to us and not Tony here. We just came back from a very long journey. You need to rest and we all. Yeah, I agree. You need to rest as well. Yeah, we see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go now. Sandra, if you're ready to leave, I can drop you off so Anita doesn't have to stress herself. Anita, please take it easy. Take it easy with your husband and you guys settle things, okay? But just know that this man is not to blame for anything that happened, okay? Please. You guys should just sort this thing out. And make it quick, please. Okay, guys. Well, thank, thank you so much for coming. Sandra, thank you. It's fine. Come here. It's okay. Thank you. It's good. Take care of yourself. Yeah. And it's on. Bye, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Sorry. Come on. Come on. Do you know Madame has finally found Musa? Seriously, Musa has been found? Mm -hmm. When and where? Sandra paid someone to help track him and the person succeeded. They found him somewhere in Ogun State. Ogun State? Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So has he been arrested? No. Why? What are they waiting for? Isn't this what she's always wanted? Well, I'm sure she will arrest him. She just um, probably has to finish her arrangements with the police. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Wow. I'm, I'm happy for her. She's finally going to get the closure she needs. Hey, what's the matter? Aren't you happy about this? Well, of course, of course. <laughs> of course, I am happy. I mean, that's what she's always wanted, so yeah. yeah. Happy, very happy. I don't know why I always this happening to me. I don't know who I offended, what I did. What is going on? Anita. Anita, just stop. You've cried enough. Trust me, God is going to give you another baby that will wipe your tears. My mom once told me, she said if someone faces problem consistently, that person should get prepared because something good is about to happen. 
Anita, get ready for your testimony. That is all I have to say. Get ready for your testimony. I was supposed to go to the hospital yesterday. But I couldn't. Because I couldn't go in this condition. It's not possible. We can always do that next week. Yes. All the arrangements have been made. All you need to do, just walk straight to the police station, write a statement, and some policemen will be assigned to you. Relax. We can do it next week. So what would you must have changed this location? It means we have to start all this process again. I'm tired. I can't I can't do this. Wait. I'm tired. Change location to where? No, tell me now. To where? Don't even think about that. I learned he started working there this month. So he will want to take his first salary before leaving there. Don't you get it? He never come out for then I go first take salary before he come out. I don't know what I have done. I don't know what, what what's happening. My my whole world is just is just turning upside down. Everything is just crashing on me. Anita. My life is just it's just it's just terrible. I don't know who I I'm met and so I don't know what I have done. I don't know why Are all this is so happening to me. I'm just Please, I don't know. Sake. Stop. Please. God knows why everything played out this way. God cannot give you a problem that is bigger than you. He knew you will be able to overcome it. That's why he allowed it in the first place. <laughs> Anita, I want us to face this problem together and overcome it as well. Listen, don't mess this up. All right? I want a perfect job, a clean job. Do you understand? What? Exactly my point. You know how you know how it is with me. I like the perfect job. All right, that's fine. It's okay. I'll call you when you're done to find out how it went. Don't mess it up. Babe? Yeah, babe. Who are you talking to and what job is that? Um, ah, it's cheesy. My boy, the one I told you that is learning um, architectural designing. Yes, oh. yes. I, I had to give him a job to do because I have a lot on my, on my table. Like I'm swamped with work. So there's this house that was supposed to design. I had to send it to him to, you know, to design. Oh. Yeah. So what if he spoils the job and you lose your plans? What happens? <laughs> of course I would. Of course I'll look at the job before I deliver it to the client. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure he will, he, will, he will do a good job. I just need him to handle that while I clear what's in front of me. Like, I take care of the ones on my desk. You shouldn't be taking such risks. You know that, right? I understand you. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sleepy. You need a massage? Of course, what would you say you do? Have you ever said no before? No. You will do me too. I have to leave. I'll see you some other time. Hmm? And as for Anita, just forget about her. I'm sure she'll, she'll, she'll forgive you. It's just a matter of time. It seems you will stop coming to see me all alone. Why? I don't want to get into any trouble. I don't want my my husband people to to see you, and it's, it's it's going to be a problem to me. See, it's a taboo for a woman to bring a man to her husband's house. And once you are here alone, it's, it's a problem. Unless if you have to come with any of your family members, come with someone, come with Anita or something. Yes. You're always scared, Sha. Anyway, I've heard what you said. And then concerning what happened the last time. 
I'm thinking you should accept your, your stepdaughter's husband. What? Mm -hmm. Are you... Are you tired of me already? Come on, how can you say that? Tired of you, how? <laughs> it's not possible now. Look, that is... That is one way to make your daughter happy again, all right? Besides, it will help us silence all the suspicion. I mean, nobody will have to suspect us again. Hmm? And then if you're worried about that guy touching you, you can always look for something to tell him. You know, to make him stay away. I'm sure if you tell him something, he won't disturb. He will rape you now, will he? Yeah, so you should find one thing to say. So the guy is a small fry. You shouldn't worry about him. Hmm? Okay, I I understand what you're saying, but what about if we are caught? Well, look, we will catch us. We're not going, look, I'll make arrangements for us to meet. Not in my house and not here. Alright, we'll, I'll always make arrangements. It's not a problem. Nobody will find out. Don't you trust me again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine by me, if you say so. It's fine. <laughs> if you need Just... anything, you know what to do. Hmm? Call me. If you need anything, just call me. I'm fine. I have enough already. But if I need anything, I will call you. You have enough. <laughs> hmm? You have enough, are you sure? Are you sure you have enough? Hmm? Just go. <laughs> Take care of yourself. You're so tempting. I'll talk to you. Safe trip. So you have enough. You had enough. Me, I've I don't have enough. No wala. I'm speechless. Seriously, I am pained. It may be someone that Musa must have hurt in the past. That guy don't get good record. No, 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 no. He doesn't have a good record at all. Like, maybe someone he wronged finally had his way and chose to revenge this way. Bro, why would a person revenge like this now? Why would he revenge like this? Why would you shoot him on the leg or on the arm or any other part? Why would you shoot him to death? How do I satisfy my curiosity? Uh, oh, my father. How do I even look for my father's killer? Who, who, who did this rubbish now? But wait, too, Anita. What if it's someone that we know? Yes. Maybe someone that monitors our moves. I don't understand. I don't understand. But it's just you and I that know about this whole thing now. And nobody else. Tony is also aware. Excuse you. What is the meaning of that? Hey, that? calm down. Come back from there. What are you thinking? I'm only trying to remind you that Tony knows about all of this. And maybe he told his friend. And Mosa must have wronged any of them. And the person chose to revenge. Oh. Why would they even kill him? Who was the person's reason? Why, why would they kill him, man? What can, where do I start from now? Everything, one problem or the other. This is this one problem? Hey. Hey. Who did you go to? Hi. Oh, I, I went to see Chooks. Oh. Yeah, so how did it go? He's dead. No, I'm talking about Musa. How did how did that go? Were they able to apprehend him? He died. We went there with some police officers and we were told he died the previous day by some unknown men. They shot him dead. Huh? What is really going on? What is it with all these deaths? Huh? No. I don't get it. Everyone, people are dying. 
So just just like that, your father's killers are, are, are gone. Like that. They just killed him. I don't know who did that. Should we do one problem to another, eh? Hey. Oh, God. I can only find me. Oh, I am tired. Hey. Something's just frustrating. I am tired. Look, mm -hmm. no, no, this is a sign. Alright, maybe this is. Okay. Yes, maybe. Look, your maybe. father will understand. You, you have tried. Okay? Wherever your father is, I'm sure he's so proud of you. Can you just let this thing go? So that your father too can rest. Huh? Maybe this is actually your late father wanting you to move on, enjoy your marriage, and just be happy. Exactly. Yes, I know. Hey. 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 Come here. <sighs> what is wrong with this next one now, huh? I don't know if there's somebody in the bag next to you. Can't, you can't even... Oh, babe! Mm -hmm. Please, could you help me with your phone? I've been trying to buy it now and what, um, that time and I can't. Network is so bad. Please, thank you. Okay, why on earth would you send that? Would you would you, would you send a text message to my phone? What if my wife had seen it? What I what, what, what should I have told her? What do you mean, eh? I'm saying something reasonable. You're saying eh? You didn't hear what I said? I spoke English now. Look, let's not says not repeat itself. All right? Do you know my wife was with the phone when you sent that message yesterday? Think of you know you fucked up. Now this should never repeat itself. I would have called you yesterday in Delhi. You sent the message, but my wife was there. That's why I didn't call. Now she stepped out. I decided to call you. Don't ever try this nonsense again. I told you. 
I told you. I said you should calm down. Hold on, that I already sent the money. Maybe it's network that's delaying it or something. Or you want to stop calling? Just kept calling. Just kept calling. If my wife had found that, do you know what would have happened? She would have torn the house down. I know the kind of woman I married now. Look, it had better not happen again. Please. Now get out of my phone. Nonsense. Imagine the name come poop. Also put me in trouble. All, all these things I've been struggling to do since. Now come on. Anita, you mean you snapped this from his phone? Yes, I did. This is what I found. How could Tony be this kind of person? How could he be this heartless? Why would he do a thing like this? Oh my God. I, I can't believe this. Sandra, I have to tell him. Let him know that I know about this. You want to what? I have to tell him. Are you, are, are you mad? Like, are you thinking straight? Mm. Oh, now, babe. Uh -uh. You have to lose your life in the process. Don't do that, oh. Anita, Tony cannot kill me. Mm. He can't kill me. But I just let... He has to know. That's he has to know I know about this now. Continue to the play. You are trusting Tony on this. After what you've seen on his phone, really? I think you should arrest him. Anita. Yes, call police. Let's involve the policeman. <gasps> Sandra, 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 how am I going to call police for my own husband? Where do I start from? What kind of a person is this one? Oh God. Anita Renas, leave everything to me. I will call the police and arrest him myself. Yes. Sandra, hmm? how do I call the police for my own husband? I will how? do it. Leave it for me. I will arrest him myself. Why would Tony be this kind of person? God, what have I done? What have I done? Sandra, I'm not going to go back to that house again, though. No. Me, I'm scared. I'm going back to your house with you. You're, you're, you're going to my house. Are you thinking straight? Like, are you normal? Do you want him to start suspecting you? Babe, this is a very critical case. And if you don't handle with care, you will lose your life, fool. Oh. See, when Tony starts suspecting you, starts seeing some funny behaviors from you, he might kill you. Men can do anything to cover their parts. I swear. So just pretend like everything is okay. When you enter your house, just mm. act normal. You can do this. Hey, what kind of problem is this? Anita, <laughs> calm down now. Calm down. You need to help me so that I'll be able to help you. Okay, okay, relax. Yeah. I'm sorry I startled you. I don't think you'll react like that. It's okay. Um, okay, so how far? What's up with the um the police and the investigation? How is that going? Um <laughs> the police, yeah, the the investigation. They 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 they, they stopped. Yes, they they said the killer, the killer didn't leave any traces, you know, no evidence to, you know, the event and they had to just stop. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, they're the police now. They should apply intelligence. They should, there should be a way out. Mm -hmm. They should do their job. They shouldn't just give up like that. Yeah. 
They should. You know? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. You know, <sighs> well, I, I, I really don't know, you know. I just feel bad about the whole thing, you know. No, we should do something about it now. Yeah. I mean, this is a human being we're talking about here. They can't just give up like that. Absolutely. We must have soldiers rest in peace, you know. This this whole thing is just tiring. Oh, wow. So, um, um, what about the, the boys you gave the assignment to? Did they, did they do it well? What? Oh, 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 the, oh, that. Yeah. Yes, of course. They did an amazing job. You don't even want to see what they did. Like, it was, it was mm. amazing. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, babes, I'll just um, go up. Oh. I had too much in my head to to comprehend today, so I thought I'll be upstairs. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Absolutely. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong with her, though? You're listening. You're coming. It's taking so long. Nah. Come in. What you find out with this? Sandra, I didn't know you would. You don't know move with, with um, the policeman. Um, That's impressive. Well, actually, they are here for you. For me? I never, I never asked. Um, <laughs> I never asked to see any policeman. So. Officer. This is Mr. Tony. Oh yeah, Mr. Tony. I greet you, Mr. Tony. My pleasure. You are under arrest. <laughs> oh God, where's the camera? Hmm? Where's the camera? I'm sure this is a prank, right? You're here to prank me. Is your friend aware of this? Let me call her so she'll see how funny this is. Hello, babes. Is she aware? You should have heard of Yes. Okay, you believe what happened. Like, Greg is here to crack us. I'm totally aware of everything. You have some explanations to do at the police station. <laughs> you serious? Mr. Tony, like I say, you are under arrest for murder of one Mr. Mbanifo Ezebuno and one Mr. Musa Mohammed. For that, I advise you to remain silent. For whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Wait, wait, what's going on here, officer? Please wait. Why? Tony, what's going on? What are they saying? What's this they're saying? Officer, please do your job. Hold, hold on, please. Hold on, please. I have, I have a few things to tell them. Okay, let him say whatever I want to say. Babe, I'm sorry. I, I'm so ashamed of myself right now. I can't even look at you. You know, started when Chuk's here. Drew my attention to the fact that your mom is beautiful and and sexy. <laughs> I developed feelings for her immediately. And the feelings grew, grew stronger. As time went on, the feelings kept growing stronger. I couldn't help it. I don't know what got into me. I killed your father. I was actually coming to see you. 
Okay. Yes, I brought you this tea. Uh, is it that that you brought before? Exactly, the the um, detox tea to just okay. cleanse all your system. Yes, okay. mm. Thank you very much. Yes. Let me go. No, 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 Papa, you have to drink it now. Mm. Yeah, that is the way it works. You drink it when it's you know when it's hot. Mm. Uh, yeah. Drinking it. It's hot. Uh, that is the way it works. It, it has. They say drink when hot. Mm. Yeah, exactly. All your bones, everything will straighten. Mm. 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 It's still hot. Yes, uh, just, just be drinking. Some more, some more. You don't use to push sugar. No, no, no. Ah, if you push sugar, to, to kill it. Mm. Mm. So just, just drink it like that. Okay. As we're drinking. Ah. Mm. Mm. It's hot. To make you strong. strong yes, yeah. and youthful. So I can I hope I can be getting more of this. <laughs> of course, it's not it's not a problem. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very just, much. Just just go inside and rest. It's yeah? okay. Yeah. So I'll be very strong now. Very strong. It's okay. Thank you. All right. Mm. Hey, go, go, go. Long. You might need to use the toilet a bit, but it's, it's uh, part of it. Uh, I, yes. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I killed you so I could be with your mother. I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. Tony, how could you do this? What did I do to you to, to, to deserve this? What did I do? I'm sorry. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I, this is ridiculous. This, this, this is not true. I know. I know. It, it, it's not true, is it? It is. Oh my goodness. Why? Yes. Well, for Musa, when my wife told me that they had found him. I just said I wanted to go with her to see him. Because I wanted to see him myself. And, you know, find out where he lived. And after we saw him, I arranged another meeting with him. And... Musa, Oga, you know I can protect you. I don't you know what I'm capable of again. Not any Oga. You know I can protect you. Why don't you just open up and tell me the truth? Tell me. Tell me if you have a hand in my in-laws' death. Okay, Oga. I have told you. I don't know anything that kill Oga. I, I never killed Oga. I, I don't know anything for I really see you don't want you don't want to say the truth. But like, why won't you just tell me? Look, you're, let's talk like G's, yeah? Let's talk like G's. Talk like you're my man. Let's talk man to man. Tell me how it is so that I will know how to protect you. I will know the best way to protect you. Oga, Nasini. I'm an orange same worker. I have told you everything as I know. I don't know anything that Musa, happens to Oga. Musa, you know something. Musa, you know something. Okay, even if you don't even if you don't have a hand in it, do you know somebody or do you know somebody or anybody that you think has a hand in the death? That's all you must know something. Oh Ganarin Semaka. Well I don't know anything. I don't know anything that happens to Oga. Narin Semaka. I'll give you 500,000 naira. Oui? Mais il cache. I'll give you half a million if you tell me the truth. Uga. Saka wa mun. 500,000 naira. Exactly. Na rupo makasiri. If I tell you everything. Exactly. Kwa yuga. 
I was After I saw him, I promised I was going to reward him with a lot of money if he kept what he knows a secret because I found out he was aware that I killed my father-in-law. Hmm. After making him the promise, I sent some boys to kill him oh my goodness. because I didn't want the police to reach him first. Not oh, my goodness, Tony. Tony, you're a devil. Babe, I'm sorry. You should, you should be in hell. Here I was accusing an innocent boy and, 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 and blaming him for everything that has been happening and not knowing that you're responsible. Sorry. Move him! <laughs> for your own good, you have to cooperate with us. Move! Move! Move it! I'm sorry. 